I absolutely love this. I love it so much. Hi, anyway, welcome back to the channel. So this is Sarah Choi's drift car, and I built this quite a while ago, and there's a video out there for you to see. And it was missing one thing, of course. My fantastic pink drift car couldn't drift. And here's me driving it down to the car meet, trying to get drifts out of it, but you couldn't do much, and then, of course, I crashed it. So let's complete that build from all those months ago. Let's make a drift car. So you spend $200,000 and the wheels go dirty, which is a bit strange, but you do get some four wheel drive, of course, with your drift options. So now let's see all the fun things you can do with this car. it's not just drifting up the mountain roads you can do although that is enormous fun but you can also have even more fun with friends and we'll get to that just a bit later in the video or its chapter mark the drifting is so much fun it's been enough to drag back two friends into the game who haven't played it for ages and I urge them to get a ZR350 and to do some sort of pink build so we could all vaguely match which they oblige me in. So here's our three cars I even added the underglow and tyre smoke to mine so Sarah sorry about that because they weren't on there before but got to join in. So basically you can have your own sort of Tokyo drift uh, just have a mess around on the streets, have some fun. I'm actually not very sure about the tyre smoke at all, in fact. I am sure I'm going to take it off. I don't think you can do this sort of drifting wild cars at night without them having some neon lights underneath. It's great fun drifting through the streets in a vague formation and I imagine there'll be a lot of satisfaction in the future if we try to properly formate our cars like you see on drift races. But there's one way of course you can have even more fun and that's to do the drift racing. So welcome to my gaming headset microphone and uh, just enjoy a one minute clip from the racing. Really, you want to try and build up to the five times multiplier. Yeah, and without having a accident. Don't hit the wall, please. Oh, I hit the bloody wall. <laughs> what a twat. Don't hit me, Gav. Oh, these, this is interesting, isn't it? With all these concrete walls and stuff. No! <laughs> it's the really slow way you back into things and get your negative multiply. Shoot! I literally got to 50. Point and then I went back down to 10. No. Points. Yeah, oh. Because I just lost all the multiplier for it. I actually just got back to four times. Four and a half. 
Super Drift suddenly coming together for me again. Oh no! <laughs> Crashed. And there we are, huge amounts of fun, well worth converting every car you've possibly got to drift into a drift car. And the drifting for me raises this DLC to a 9.5 out of 10. And you know where the half mark's gone? It's Yusuf, keep ringing me every time I log on asking me to buy a salvage yard, which I'm not going to buy, at least not in the short term. Anyway, I must drift on. Oh God, dad joke. Thank you so much for watching.